She was sitting on the table wait, waiting for breakfast when I came out. Yeah? When I went to put the food on the table, she moved a little bit, but then she came back as soon as I put it down and walked away, of course. But she's back. What do you think about that, Booms? Huh? Which is on my lap getting lots of loving. I don't think she likes being an indoor cat at all. I don't think she likes being a pet. Listen, see if he can hear her purr. What you eating? Breakfast. What's for breakfast? Your normal breakfast. Mm -hmm. Rice, crispy treats. Breakfast of champions. And coffee. <sighs> I've been up since 7.30 again. Why? I'm not sleeping well. My restless legs are not acting up. I'm just under a lot of stress. I know you are, but we're also trying to drop your medication. I'm wondering if... No, it's it's stress. I'm having nightmares and it's waking me up. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I won't look at you. So I just heard from my mom. Um, they don't have anything scheduled yet as far as the biopsy or a surgery date so everything is still like up in the air and I'm so torn because I have so many things I need to work around and I need to get a ticket booked um, because the closer you know the earlier you book it the cheaper it is so <laughs> and I have to at least wait until after the Joshua Tree investigation that we have coming up. And I don't know if he will be having surgery before that or not. So, uh, I'm so confused. I'm so discombobulated. I'm all over the place. And I really don't know what to do right now. I'm just stressed and so I wonder what Kevin is up to in here he's got Megan's wolf blanket spread out on the floor here and he's got a piece of wood going across the front I want to soundproof the room a little bit I'm going to use some old blankets and I'm going to attach them to the wall with some uh, strips and I just cut these six foot strips just drilled a hole in them I'm gonna have be able to drill into the wall through these holes and get some large washers but right now I need to um, staple the blanket to the uh, to these boards and I'm gonna use my pneumatic stapler and uh, so turn on my compressor <laughs> Quite a bit of hose here, and I'll reach it all the way into the front room to give me room. Plus, there's no room in here anymore. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this blanket up on the wall. Our walls are kind of funny. They uh, they have a it's at the peak of the roof, so it has a 45 degree curve. So I'm going to attach this at the top, and then I'm going to put another board in the middle so that it uh, covers most of the wall instead of just hanging down and taking up the room. 
So I got my stapler set up. Ugh. Now, did you already tell them that this is the wall? You're doing this in the wall for the band. So this is going to be the band room. Did Kevin show it to you guys yesterday? <clears throat> I don't think so. Let me show it to you guys. They're going to have a nice patio out there or a deck that they can go out on and get some fresh air. And they have this wall. Kevin's setting his drums up over in that corner. Ow, boomer. And then they have this whole area to set up all the speakers and guitars and the chair I'm sitting in. Ha! And are you taking this out of here? Because this doesn't work. Works fine. Oh. So apparently the refrigerator here works fine. So they can keep their beer in the refrigerator. That's right. Doesn't hold a heck of a lot, but... It'll be enough to get Kevin drunk. Oddly enough, there's nothing there to put screws into, so I'm having problems keeping that up. Now hopefully uh, when I put the center section on, it'll take some weight off of it and it won't be so bad. Okay, so there it is. It's already softened the roof room up a bit. I'm going to have to get one on this side of the room as well. But I'm not going to be able to get that done today. But uh, there's that. Okay, so I just got off the phone with my mother once again. Doctors are the worst. I mean, the worst. You know... This is a serious situation, and they don't have dates. They're not giving her a date for a biopsy, and now they're saying they might not even do a biopsy. They may just go right into surgery, but they can't tell her anything for sure. And you got people like me living in Cal California and they're in North Carolina, I need to make plans. I need to rearrange schedules. I need to, you know, I can't just like last minute jump on a plane and be there. You know, plane tickets are expensive and if you don't book them in advance, it's, you know, twice or three times as expensive. And, you know, Doctors, they're just so uncaring and so nonchalant. It's like, you know, this is a very serious situation. Jump on it. Get it taken care of. Give us answers. Don't sit here and make us wait. It's Thursday. My mother and father won't know anything probably until Monday. So we're all sitting here stressing all weekend. This is ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Am I bothering you? He's gonna start putting beep, his beep, nails beep. in the furniture if you keep it up. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> what? Don't look at me. I'm not gonna protect you from her. I'm having a crappy day. Hmm. 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 I'm just, I think I'm just tired. I'm not sleeping good. Yeah, well, we're still um, messing with your medication, too, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm having uh, nightmares, and I guess 
uh, that's one of the side effects from my restless leg, my new restless leg medicine. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm under a lot of stress right now, and the nightmares I'm having are actually um, related to situations that are going on currently in my life. So, mm -hmm. so they're not just random nightmares, and you know, it's kind of. So, I mean, I was doing really great when my restless legs stopped and I was getting at least eight hours a night's sleep. And everybody's even saying it. I looked like I was glowing. I had so much energy and I seemed so happy. And now it's like I'm, I'm getting maybe about four hours, if that. And it's not even a, a restful sleep. It's a restless sleep. And then I'm up again and... <sighs> Uh, so, what did you do today? Um, well, I put up a blanket on the wall. That was a pain. And um, I didn't, where I knew that thought there would be, absolutely would be a two by four, there was nothing there. So, I had a lot of issues attaching it to the wall. I hope it stays. Uh, I mowed the lawn. And that's about it. It's enough. I'm tired. So, trimmed my beard, shaved a little, considered cutting my hair, but then decided not to let it go another day. Well, if you get called for a job, it's got to go. <laughs> Gone. Yeah. So, the beard, I'm not sure if I'm going to lose the beard. I think I look good with the beard. The long hair, meh. I think the longer it would, if one... You're in between stages right now. Uh-huh. So, if it got longer, it would look better. Yeah. So, but I'm at the age where everybody's going, Oh, look at that dude with the long hair, man. He's just trying to recoup his youth. I think you look like a dead follower. Really? I should get a, a, a tie-dye. I've got the belly and everything. I look, look like uh, Jerry Garcia, huh? Mm -hmm. All I right. think you look like a deadhead. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Howdy, folks. Howdy, folks. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. I have no idea what we did today. I was periscoping and filming, so I don't remember what I did on periscope and what I did on film. So, I just hope you had a good time following along with us and hanging out with us. With whatever the heck we did. Yeah. <laughs> I know I complained a little bit about the doctors and cried a little bit, so sorry. Um, but but <laughs> I hope you give this video a great big thumbs up and press that little red subscribe button down below and follow along with us and share this video with your family and friends because we said if we stayed at 4,000 subscribers for three weeks, we were going to do a live Q&A. Three weeks? I thought it was a month. Oh, okay. We said if we stayed at 4,000 subscribers for one month, we were going to do a live Q&A. Well, we fell below 4,000 subscribers. And if you guys want to see a live Q&A... Go to Periscope. <laughs> 4,000 subscribers. <laughs> all right. We'll see y'all tomorrow, guys. Bye. Bye.